Hey, what's going on there, Global Nobles? How's it going there, YouTube Nation? So, um, thanks to James S. Games and uh, Tito Escobar, who uh, let me know that the last video that I've done was pretty much shot because there was no sound. And the reason I made the video is because I was trying to do a tutorial on how to change your, um, your coil on the Cubis Pro. Now... When it comes down to it, um, it's pretty much simple. It's not rocket science. There is a lot of things you have to do. And I was trying to compare the coil change when it comes to the S-Tron or the, um, you know, the Joy E-Tech EVIC Mini and um, the Joy E-Tech V2 Mini with the Cubis Pro. Now, the last... Uh, mod and atomizer that I had pretty much you when you had to change the coil you had to take it apart and pretty much unscrew it from the bottom and all this stuff it was a pain it had leakage every once in a while and you know things of the sort happens but now with the Cubis Pro things come a little bit more easier because now you don't have to screw it unscrew it you know unscrew the bottom and all that stuff all you got to do is just unscrew the top and it comes right off now the thing that i like about this is that as the moment you can see that there is no e-juice uh flowing and no matter how many times you know like you've run on empty it's still gives a good hit you get a good hit every time never a dry hit never a dry moment and it's always a good thing in never having dry spells on your uh, on your atomizer or mod whatever that case may be So when it comes down to it, yes, this is a little bit easy and I'm going to show you today How to really replace your coil properly without having any spit back or any gargling effect uh, I did change it in my last video again. There is no sound but I didn't have any spit back or any gargling have you know going on in my uh, in my whole change up tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the video again today, and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is without doing anything, without pretty much priming the coil or anything of the sort. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some paper towels, of course. You are going to need your uh, your coil that you're going to change and you're also going to have to need your e-juice that you're going to be putting in uh, You know the last one that the last tutorial or the last video that I did Pretty much I changed my coil and it was long overdue on the change because as you can see it is pretty much shot and Comparing I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whip out a new coil for you guys uh, knowing that I had already changed the the coil that's inside it's pretty new uh, But I'm gonna go ahead and do a change up and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side. So there you go. You guys can see the difference of how a new coil and the old coil pretty much looks like So let's go ahead and start this off. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video let you guys get in on the zoom view and we're gonna go ahead and change this so here we go all right so we're back sorry about that this is my coffee of the day you know it's already like 532 but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the top here as you can see it comes out really really easy you know no mess no fuss no muss now, I say use a napkin when taking off the coil because if you have nicotine in your juice, you definitely don't want to get exposed to the nicotine. You know, it is really, really harmful for you if you, your skin absorbs the nicotine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. And... So you guys can see it is still fairly new. Uh, it's still, you know, in good shape. You know, I can reuse this. Uh, that's the cool thing about the new coils is that it's long. Uh, it's long lasting. 
you can reuse it if you're pretty much out of coils and you need a, a good fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a new coil. Now what I like to do half of the times is that I like to align the wording like I like to align the wording with like an empty spot not with the spots with the the airflow going through the reason why I like to do that or I like to go ahead and align the two openings that are at the bottom uh, with the the gaps between the airway because of the fact that it absorbs juice and you don't want the airflow and the openings of the the coils on a certain spot so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much you know like I already just did this this is too easy you know a lot of people have been having problems uh, James S games is one of the few who have been pretty much in the spot where you know the the coil has like this drawback spit back you know you get some like hot ejus going on and it's terrible and i have to say i was one of the few who had that problem in the beginning but coming to use this uh it became easier you know it just pretty much had its thing the only thing that i do have a problem with is uh you know getting that little top off so that little top does get annoying and that's because of the e-juice that's that's stuck in there all right so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the thing back out because i don't really have the time or wait as a matter of fact let me do some movie magic i'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and i'll go ahead and do some little movie magic and give me a sec. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top, right? I finally got it off. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the e-juice from it so that way it doesn't get stuck again. That's one of the things that you have to also look out for. The top does get clogged up and that's fine. You know, the, the reasons why that happens is because you uh, put e-juice and some of the e-juice gets stuck on the sides, which which cause the uh, the little rubber uh, the little rubber stopper on the side here to pretty much get like stuck with e-juice, and it gets really really hard for you to remove the top. So I'm going to be using um, Cup of Joe by OFE, and I'm going to be using the Cookie Monster uh, from you know Fudge Jerry's. All right. So what I like to do here is one of the things I also forgot to mention, and I'm going to do this right now, is that when using, when changing the coil and all this other goodness, remove the battery. You do not want to pre-fire your mod, causing the coil to pretty much burn out. So like I did, like I just finished doing right now, remove the battery because as always, you know, when changing the coil, you will press the fire button by mistake. The fire button is not hard to miss. And you will cause a burnout in your coil. And then it's going to have this, like, you know, odd, harsh taste to it. And you don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with e-juice. Now I like to mix these two because they taste so good when you mix them together. 
it's like a strawberry cookie ice cream with coffee feeling and it's awesome a lot of you guys might think damn why is he doing that that's probably tastes nasty but I, I don't know it just depends all right so now that i have this changed i'm gonna go ahead and do the frontal view so you guys can see what i'm actually am about to do now i have the e-juice already in there i have the atomizer in there i have uh, the the coil already changed and replaced everything is locked and secure and tight so let's go ahead and bring it up to face view and i'll show you guys what i do okay so now that we're back pretty much everything is good right right okay so what you're gonna have to do is close off the airway you're gonna close off the airway all the way right and you're gonna take a couple of hits now I would suggest you take two to like three hits okay that's totally fine all right so you're gonna take two to three non-fire hits all right All right, so I just took three hits. I noticed a couple of bubbles forming in the in the tank. Now that's to show that the air that's inside the coil is letting out. So when you see bubbles and you can actually, uh, you can like taste the flavor or you can uh, smell the flavor coming from the coil, you know that you're set. You're pretty much good. So just to make sure, I'm going to take one more dry hit. This is just for my precaution, and it's pretty much simple. All right. Okay. So now I kind of heard a, a little gargle effect in the coil. I'm going to go ahead and put in the battery. I'm using an LG uh, 8653.7300 uh mop battery here so another good thing is to make sure that your battery is full um this battery is pretty much still on the full side but let me actually change this i'm sorry sorry but when using a new coil when like when pretty much changing your coil what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna want to make sure that the battery is full the reason why I say that you want the battery full is because you need uh, you need to make sure that everything is is going properly. You're not going to, you know, when having a low battery, the coil ain't going to heat up. You know, the coil isn't going to be effective. It's not going to it's not going to do anything, you know. Uh, I don't know if many have you noticed, but uh, when you fire up your mod with a low battery half of the times you don't get the full flavor like you get too much flavor but not enough vapor going out so when changing the coil make sure that your battery is full okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take my first tip i'm gonna open up the airway to like about two maybe three slots three slips open okay Now, in the beginning, if you did this correctly, you shouldn't get any spit back. You will hear a gargle gargle every once in a while. That is totally fine. That it's, you know, pretty much normal because, you know, the, the, the amount of dry hits that you take from your, uh, from your atomizer, it's going to pretty much absorb all of the e-juice to the cotton and then the cotton will get fully saturated and at times you will hear a gargle and this is totally fine the the way that you want to get rid of the gargling is to close back up close the airway on your atomizer and then take another hit Okay, now I'm going to open it back up to two. All 
all right so you you guys i'm putting this near the mic so you guys can hear that there is no spit back there is minimal gargle now if you get too much gargle it's because you did too many dry hits or you took a too much amount of a dry hit so what you're going to want to do is either take a q-tip or you're going to want to take your paper towel and you're gonna do this you're gonna want to go ahead and do this okay remove all the excess e-juice from it and then go ahead Once you figure it out, once you know that everything is all set and in order, you can go ahead and enjoy your vape just the way it was intended to work. You know, without the gargles, without the spit back, without the heated e-juice in your mouth and all this other good stuff. Because definitely, as everybody knows, hot e-juice in your mouth is not good. And especially if it has nicotine because... One of these days, one of these days, you're basically going to have to go to the doctor and be like, well, sorry, sir, we're going to have to remove your tongue because it has cancer. All right, there you go. So <laughs> there you go. Pretty much everything has changed and you should enjoy your vape the way, you know, you want it to, huh? Oh, look. Those clouds, those clouds, look at this, I can't even see myself. Alright, so there you guys have it. Thank you, James S. Games, for, um, you know, letting me know that you guys have issues with your Cubis Pro and the changing of the coil, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but you guys can see the lettering of your coil on this glass, and that's the back part, alright? So... The way that I'm heating this up is at 570, 35 watts at 5.0.52 uh, ohms and it works. Although the coil is rated at 50, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. The coil is rated up to 30 watts, right? It's actually rated from 15 to 30 watts, but I'm actually burning it up to a good 35 and it just does wonderfully. I get full flavor. I get full, you know, full clouds and all this stuff. And when it comes down to it, you know, it's not really hard to change the coil and have your problem with the spitbacks, a little gargling effect. I already showed you guys how to re pretty much prime your coil without, like, you know, using the drip or drip tip as your primage. You know, you take out the drip tip and you put a little bit of e-juice. That's not really how you have to do it. You don't have to drop e-liquid onto the coil directly just so uh, you just take two to three dry hits without the battery inside and then once you're done you put the battery back in and you fire it up and there you have it so again thank you james s games for making this video happen for having me provide you how to change your coil on the cubist pro as well, Tito Escobar, thank you very much for letting me know that my last video that I had done pretty much had no sound. So I had to put it back into private and then make a new video for you guys as well. If you guys like and enjoy what you just seen, do rate this video, do subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you have any problems, any issues as far as your, your coil change or anything of the sort. But as far as you guys can know... I don't, I'm not here, like, you know, doing that little face where uh, I burnt myself, you know. It's pretty much.
smooth sailing. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Hopefully I'll do an unboxing of something special that I got in the mail. This is for my fish tank. So it is something separate from what I normally do, but unboxings is one of those things that I enjoy doing and I enjoy sharing with you guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Peace.